Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about some cards that I am buying and I know I'll go ahead and say I only own one copy of this Liliana The Last Hope from pre-release and I only own one copy of Nahiri, maybe two copies of Nahiri. I have to go look at my Princess Cube to see if the foil version is of her is pre-release. I think pre-release cards, they are very good because uh, they are foils and the quality is exactly the same. So there's no difference in quality in my opinion and you get a timestamp so I don't see the timestamp being a negative. But typically they are cheaper as foils for pre-release than the regular set foil which tends to be the more pimp version for most people. Now why do I like, like Liliana The Last Hope? Well she's in the top tier deck. She's rotating out, so people will sell her. What's going to happen is people who only play standard, which is a large majority of players where I am, they will sell her when she rotates out because essentially the store is only going to take Lily and Harry and a few other cards. And the store will get a bunch of them and they'll put them online and every store is putting their cards online and guess what? The price will drop because there's such high supply. Eldritch Moon is not a set that was printed in a limited amount. Eldritch Moon in every single recent set is printed into Oblivion when you compare it to, I don't know, Mirage or even RTR. I don't know, RTR was kind of crazy, right? Let's say original Ravnica or something like Shadowmoor, anything older than Meriden. Come on, that's not even close. So there's a lot of supply of this. I know, yes, it's a mythic. There's a lot of supply. There's not as much demand right now, but as this card dries up, I think you're looking at a very expensive card. Is he Liliana of the Veil? No. There's too much of her, and even considering Liliana's reprint. Liliana was reprinted in a $10 booster pack. That makes a big difference when you talk about card value. The, the fact the pack is three times as expensive, yeah, that's going to impact the card price. So the next one is Nahari. Nahari, if I had to pick one of the two, I'm going to pick Lily. Lily is more established. Lily is stronger, in my opinion. And she comes from a set that was a middle set in Aldrich Moon, which wasn't that great. So Aldrich Moon was not a set people really were excited. They were excited about. They want to open packs on. It was just kind of like a met set. Innistrad. So much Innistrad was open, and that would be my main concern here. Would be that although this is the pre-release version, and possibly the same amount of Nahiri pre-release exist as Lily pre-release, maybe very similar. The original foils, they should be a lot more Nahiri's than Lily's. So that's why I like Lily, just because the amount of total foils, including pre-release and regular ones, is much less. So why do I like Nahiri? I think Nahiri is going to be very attractive from a buy perspective. So Lily will always be expensive, right? That, that card is not going down from maybe it hits 40 as a pre-release foil, but good luck. Nahiri, I think, is going to crash. I think Nahiri is going to crash and burn. And she has one very special ability. And I look at her and I say to myself, wow, that is an insane ability. Um, her plus two is very good. Very, very good. Discarding, you always will have stuff to discard. Drawing, you always want to draw some stuff. The meta, I can look at the card and look at the power level and say, hmm, if the meta shifts ever so slightly, this would be a very strong card. And obviously, she has a deck with Emrakul, the big bad Emrakul, where you just stall and then you throw out the Emrakul with the ultimate and then game's over. I don't believe that's a deck that will she will eventually dominate in. I think she can be dominant, but she has to find a deck. That deck does not exist at this moment in time. But given her abilities, so what? When I speculate, like how do I get Sahili? How do I know that was gonna? I I didn't realize that was gonna happen then, but I knew modern Sahili already had a combo. So I was like, oh okay, this might be playable if they got more pieces. Uh, and then people would say, oh Sahili combo whatever. 
it was the most dominant deck. It was so dominant, they banned it. Right? I mean, how else can you explain dominance outside a ban? So they banned the cat combo deck. The cat combo deck still exists in modern. It's just not as strong because there's too much going on in modern. And removal tends to be much better. But Nahiri... Nahiri was a card that is a card that's unique. I like cards that are unique and I like cards that are strong. I play Magic enough to know to recognize both very, very quickly. And Nahiri is both. She is once she crashes down to I'm I'm beginning to buy her. Uh, I think that she will still continue to go down, but I'm just gonna continue to buy. I have one or two of her now. I have two on the way. I'm just gonna She's so going to hit rock bottom probably at $20 at the $20, $15 even as a pre-release foil. But she's unique. She is absolutely unique as a set of abilities. I haven't seen anything like it. And I think they work well together. Uh, they pump her up. She comes with four loyalty. She can plus two, which is very good. She can get out of range of most burn spells. So you can discard stuff, which is important. Stuff to your graveyard. It's not random. Like, Tibble is bad because it's random. This is not random. This is you decide what to discard. Maybe you discard a Madness or something. I don't know what mechanic will exist in the future, but I know her plus two ability is going to be very good. It's not good right now for modern. But in the future, I know it can only get better. It's like Snapcaster Mage, where I say it. Uh, barring a reprint, of course. And that's why pre-release cards kind of are a semi-protection against a reprint. It's as much protection as you can possibly get. Uh, but like Snapcaster Maze, will there be more instants? Yes. Will there be more sorceries? Yes. A good example is Fatal Push. Snap, Fatal Push, F Snapcaster just got a tad be better. Nahiri is going to get a tad better. Uh, it just has to find the right card. Anyway, those are my two favorite cards, Nahiri and Princess Lily. And... I know they tend to be on the higher end. I'm going to try to make another video on lower end cards, but these are the two ones I fall in love with, and I'm going to buy them. So yeah. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.